Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I am going to start discussing the model question paper set 2 for the subject Basic Electrical Engineering. So, let me show you the questions first. Module 1. Uh, with respect to DC circuit, state and explain Kirchhoff's law. What are the points to be added? So, I will be showing you the answer key which I prepared by me. In this question, you are supposed to answer both uh, the statements of KCL and KVL. For KCL with example, you will be getting 3 marks. For KVL with a simple example, you will be able to score 3 marks. Altogether, 6 marks questions. So, let us move on to the next question. Uh, look at the question number 1b. A sinusoidally varying alternating voltage is given by V of t is equal to Vm sin omega t. Obtain its RMS value of voltage in terms of maximum value. We have to basically the meaning of this question is you need to derive an expression for RMS value. So let's get started. If you can able to write the definition that is well and good, you will be getting two marks. Then relevant diagram can be drawn like this, and you have to mark what about the effective value of uh, DC and AC. Likewise, you can able to mark, and also the mention the square wave. This is your square wave. You can very clearly observe okay square wave and uh, in that small segment you can mark this might be i square is equal to im square sin square theta and you can start doing the der 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 derivation for rms value consider the area of the strip uh, then you have to consider the time period from 0 to pi because you will be considering only the half cycle of the square wave then rms value the formula that will be square root of area of first half cycle of uh, squared wave divided by base then you will be getting the expression IRM is equal to IM by root 2 that is equal to uh, 0.707 IM. Likewise, VRM is equal to VM by root 2 that you have to state. Then you will be getting remaining 2 marks. Altogether it carries 8 marks. So this is the way how we can able to divide the marks. You can score accordingly. Okay, so I have already derived the expression for RMS value in my previous video. Entire uh, videos are, uh, the link of entire videos are given. Uh, in the particular playlist. At that time you can go through once again and uh, have the derivation uh, once more. So question number 1c is in a numerical example. A resistor R is connected in series with a parallel circuit comprising two resistances of 12 ohm and 8 ohm respectively. The total power dissipated in the circuit is 70 watts. When the applied voltage is 20 volt, you need to calculate the resistor R. How to calculate the resistance value? So, first you better to draw the diagram. Simple diagram you have to draw. So, statement you need to convert into a simple diagram. Then only we can solve this. I will show you how to make out this. So, please read the question once more. As we were discussing, the diagram is must. So, a resistor R which will be series with a parallel combinations of 12 ohm and 8 ohm respectively. 20 volt has been applied over there. Definitely there is a flow of current if I apply 20 volt. At this point, uh, the current is getting divided and it is uh, dividing to I1 and I2 because it is a parallel branch, right? So, I1 and I2 will be divided. First in the foremost, you know the equation P is equal to V square by R. From this, you can calculate the unknown resistor R that is V square by P. You will be getting 5.71 ohm. You will be getting 1 marks. That means the R will be equal to the effective resistance or equivalent resistance that is 5.71. Same answer. But if you talk about the equal resistance, how do you calculate it? So R1 that is series with the, the parallel combinations of 12 ohm and 8 ohm respectively. So the equal resistance will be R plus uh, 12 into 8 divided by 12 plus 8 because 12 and 8 ohm both are connected in parallel. Okay, I hope you are getting my point. Then R equivalent you can substitute 5.71, unknown resistance you can keep it as R and if you simplify the parallel combination, equal resistance will be R1, R2 by R1 plus R2, you are able to get how much? 4.8. So from this expression, you can able to calculate unknown resistance by doing the proper simplification. Ultimately, you are supposed to get R is equal to 0 0.910. Oh, you will be getting 4 marks. 4, pl 4, 4 plus 1. Plus 1. Total, you will be getting 5 marks. You can manage in this question in this fashion. Likewise, many more questions can be expected. Please be careful. So everybody play, please look at question number 2 and kindly read out. A load resistance RL ohm is connected across the source Vs with an internal resistance of R int int in series with a source. Ob obtain the condition that the power transferred to the load from the source is maximum. What is the meaning of the question? You have to derive an expression for 
the maximum power based on maximum power transfer theorem. It carries the weightage of 6 marks, but little bit steps are required. I will be showing you how to solve this particular question. Okay, we have to derive the expression for maximum power transfer theorem. First, it is better to write the statement of maximum power transfer theorem. If you write, you will be getting 2 marks. The maximum power transfer theorem states that the DC voltage source will deliver maximum power to the load resistor only when the load resistance is equal to source resistance. You will be getting 2 marks. Then draw the circuit diagram, mention the load resistor RL and mention the source resistance RINT and VL. Here, do one thing. In the load resistance, uh, we can able to say fixed actually. Okay, only the source resistance that will be varied. Load resistance you can make it as fixed one. I hope you are getting my point. So, IL you can calculate. Vs by RINT plus IL using the Ohm's law. Then power, power equation you can apply. DC power IL square into RL. Ultimately, you will be getting this answer. Then you can apply the principle of maxima or minima which you studied in your differentiation. So, DP by DRL equal to 0. Maximum or minima theorem. So, you have to differentiate. Apply the... Uh, di di division rule of uh, the differentiation then ultimately you will be getting the maximum power will be transmitted from R I N T that means source resistance that is equivalent to load resistance by the way we can calculate what is the value of maximum power which is transferred that is equal to I L square into R L so please to substitute here in this equation R I N T and R L will be equal no so we can instead of uh, uh, R I N T you can put R L then it, you will be getting 2 R L whole square that means 4 R L square here R L and R L will be getting cancelled at once ultimately will be getting V S square divided by 4 R L so this is the maximum value of power which is transferred from source to load likewise you can plan for the derivation step by step uh, points are required so that you will be getting the better score I request you to go through question number 2 B what is in that a pure inductor excited by sinusoidally varying AC voltage show that the average power consumed by the inductor is zero. You should have a basic knowledge on average value. I have already explained the one video how to derive the expression for average value, the importance of average value. I request everyone to watch that video first, later answer this question. Uh, it is also having better credit that is actually 8 marks question, it is an 8 marks question. How to answer this? Okay, so consider the circuit diagram. You have to draw the circuit in this fashion. There is an inductor, you are providing a supply AC voltage and uh, the instantaneous value V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Then current is passing through the inductor. First you need to uh, know how to calculate power. Power is equal to V into I, Vrms into Irms. Okay, that means Vm sin omega t into Im sin omega t minus pi by, uh, pi by 2. So, uh, Vm Im sin omega t cos omega t using the simplified form trigonometric formula you can able to write like this half sin 2 omega t into vm into im so altogether we can write minus vm im by 2 into sin 2 omega t okay so power for complete cycle you can um, go for the integration from 0 to 2 pi you have to come take the complete cycle therefore it will be 0 to 2 pi so ultimately if you uh, integrate you are able to get uh, vm im by 2 will be constant only so you can take outside 0 to 2 pi sin 2 omega t d omega t. So, if you integrate this, definitely you are able to get the value will be 0. Integral of 0 to 2 pi sin 2 omega t d omega t will be absolutely 0. Whatever the value which is multiplied with the 0, that will be 0 only. So, this is the way how to answer this question. So, next is another problem. Uh, question number 2c. Two resistors are connected in parallel and a voltage of 200 volt is applied to the terminals. The total current taken is 2.5 amps and the power dissipated in one of the resistor is uh, 1500 watts. What is the resistance of each element? So, better draw the diagram first. I have drawn the diagram which is shown in the screen. Uh, so, R1 and I2 both are connected in parallel. So, current is getting divided as I1 and I2 respectively. So, if you draw the diagram, you will be getting one mark. Then PR1, that means power dissipated to one branch resistor is 1500 watts. That is equal to V square by R1. Use the formula. Therefore, R1 can be computed as 26.66. If you solve this, you will be getting another one mark. So, anyway, you know that R equivalent is equal to V upon I. Therefore, you can have equivalent. How much it is? What is the voltage? Voltage is 200, current is 2.5. Then you will be getting 80 ohms. You know that R1 and R2 both are connected in parallel. Therefore, equivalent resistance will be R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. From this, you can able to compute the unknown value of resistor R2. So, R2 will be 39.98 ohms. If you solve this, obviously, you will be getting 4 marks. This is the way how to answer this. Step by step, we can solve. While solving, you should be very much careful. 
uh, let me know if you are having any questions i am happy to answer thank you for watching this video